guys what's up it's your boy cringe gaming back at it again and y'all already know what's up today um i'm actually gonna be just redoing the review on this because i've been reading a little bit of the comments some people are a little bit unclear on what i was talking about so it was pretty much just with the mosfet like if you want any of the details of the gun you could just go back to that other video i got everything set up but this one i'm just focusing mainly on the mosfet so let's get right to it but before we start with today's video let me just ask you guys if you already haven't, you could go down, hit that like button, turn that drink blue. You know what's up. You can subscribe to the channel if you want videos like this coming hit your phone every once in a while. I don't usually upload on a schedule, but you guys know how I move by now. So let's get now this back into this gun. So pretty much when you're programming the MOSFET here, let me just get a battery. So you got your nice 11.1 .1 LiPo right here. <sighs> now what we're going to do is where this the battery compartment's back here. Usually there'll be a little cap right here to take off, but I already have it off. These are actually wired to Dean's connections for anybody that might need them. Uh, you know, better connections than Tamiya, honestly. So if you have Dean's, short. I don't have Dean's though, so just plug this into my gun. When you plug it in, you should hear like an initial, like two beeps from the machine. Let me see if you can hear it now. It'll probably be just like one beep. I don't know why I said two beeps, just one beep. But now since the battery is plugged in, we're gonna go get to the trigger programming. As you can see, there's no BBs in here. I've already test fired to make sure that there wasn't BBs in here into a safe environment. Make sure you're always wearing eye protection at all times because you don't want to lose these. But with the first one, what we're actually gonna do is program the trigger response. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have the gun in safety. Since it's amb ambidextrous, you can see. Have the gun at safe, hold it for three seconds. And you hear that beep, now press it two times. That was to show that you wanted to switch your trigger response. And now you can switch it to either one, which is very high, Look at how lightly I have to pull the trigger for it to shoot. See that? Now let me switch it to two, which is medium. All right, so that's medium. Switch it to semi. A little bit, little bit of a longer trigger pull, not that much. And let's try the last one, which is the third one. All right, let's see how long the trigger pull is. See, look, it gives you a little bit more time than if I was just to go back to the first one. And now we're back at the first one. All right. And another question that I also got in the comments last video was when you uh, put it to the light trigger pull, are you also able to have a binary trigger? And actually, yes, that does work. Now, if you don't actually reset anything to the way that you had it before in the MOSFET, it'll just stay like that. So now I'm going to show you guys how to put the binary trigger on. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this for three seconds. You're going to click it three times and now it should be binary trigger mode. So what binary trigger means is when I pull it, it shoots. When I let go, it shoots. And you see how the trigger response is still on it, how it's very light and it's still like that's overpowered. And, you know, you can keep it binary trigger and switch the switch the trigger pull too. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Still on binary trigger, pulling the trigger. Little bit of a harder pull, letting go. It looks like as soon as you let it go, then it really shoots. Cause it doesn't go at the end of the reset. Like look, shoots right there and there's still some more, oh shoot. And there's still some more space for it to reset right there, so. 
it's pretty cool and to deactivate binary trigger you just hold it three times tap it three times and it's deactivated lastly what i can show you that this mosfet can do is it can actually switch your full auto to round burst but yo guys what's up future cringe gaming right here but um real quick i'm just too lazy to cut that other stuff out so i'm just gonna put this one right in front of those other clips but i actually figured out how to make it full auto again so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna be in safe and you're just gonna hold it until you hear a really long beep like this. And that just re that just puts your full auto back. Did not know that until just now. Thank you. Uh, let's get back to the I'm video. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not even sure how to switch it back to full auto. So if you don't want this gun to just stay burst then i suggest just keep it auto but this is how you switch it to burst so you hold this you tap it once and then you tap it however many times for however many bullets you want it to shoot and it goes up to five bullets so let me press three bullets right now now my full auto was switched to three bullet burst so if i was to go to Full auto, hold the trigger down, three bullet bursts. All right, so let me switch it to four bullet burst. One, and then one, two, three, four for four bullet burst. There's also five bullet burst. Never mind, there's only four bullet burst. I messed up. So let me switch my automatic actually to say semi automatic. All right, so if I click it one time like that and I go into auto, then. It's on auto. Look, here's semi right here. And here's auto. One bullet. Nice. You could switch it from anywhere from one to four. I thought it was five, but it's actually four. Just one to four bullet burst. And really quick, last thing before I actually head off of this is um, when you put the binary trigger, when you engage the binary trigger, it only works for semi-auto. So right now my gun's on semi, shoot, shoot. But right now, since the auto's on one bullet burst, see, binary trigger's engaged, but it still doesn't work. So it only works on the semi mode. If you guys wanted another shooting test for that, you could drop it down in the comments and I'll be happy to, you know, hopefully be shooting one of my friends with this gun, you know, get some game plan. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed and stay tuned for this next video. Might be uh, looking at that AK that I got requested to do last video. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching. How do I even end my videos? How am I supposed to end my videos? Like, I don't even know.